Happy to have with us on another busy day here at ASH 2011 in San Diego, California. And with us is Tatiana Feldman, MD. She is an oncologist specializing in lymphoma from the John Thurer Cancer Center in Hackensack, New Jersey. Thanks for stopping by. Thank you for inviting. So you're here to talk about a drug that uh, you seem to have a great deal of excitement about. Can you tell us more? Uh, yes. Thank you for inviting. Uh, it's a drug called Acetrix. It's recently been approved. It is a drug antibody conjugate, meaning it's an antibody against a protein called CD30, which is uh, expressed on Hodgkin lymphoma cells and anaplastic large T cell lymphoma, uh, conjugated to a very potent chemotherapeutic agent called MMAE, which is a tubulin uh, blocker, so it disrupts mitotic tubule. Um, it's the last stage, the data was presented on um, efficacy with the overall response rate in very resistant relapsed patients with Hodgkin lymphoma, majority after autologous stem cell transplant being 75%, and the data on anaplastic large T cell lymphoma, which is rare disease uniformly expressing CD30, uh, being 86% in relapsed resistant patients. Um, at this SASH, uh, the abstract is going to be presented later at oral um, uh, oral presentation, uh, giving the some update on uh, duration of responses and progression-free survival, showing that uh, duration could be quite durable in patients with anaplastic large T cell lymphomas. And uh, so the it's just the beginning. I think the drug is showing a lot of promise and a lot of new research is being uh, conducted, including the one which John, we are participating in, the Joint Thero Cancer Center, um, uh, which involves studying this drug in other CD30 positive lymphomas, which could be other peripheral T cell lymphoma, non otherwise specified, and even diffuse large B cell lymphoma, which um, uh, relapsed refractory diffuse large B cell lymphoma is a very, very major niche area with basically very limited number of efficacious drug available. Dr. Feldman, so you believe this is of great interest and offers great promise to those here in the ASH community? Absolutely. Why so? Um, well, if ac across the board you will not see um, the therapeutic agent which has such a high response rate in uh, patients who failed prior lines of therapy. Um, on average, you'll see overall response rate 30%, 40%, no more than that. And this is something which has, number one, phenomenally high response rate. Number two, it's a very well-tolerated drug. So we're not talking about giving multi-agent toxic therapy. It's a very well-tolerated um, agent. Now, so. what can you tell us more about what you plan to be doing in researching this? So, the several trials which we're planning, we open some and planning to open at um, Hackensack University Medical Center is one uh, which will be part of multi-center um, multi uh, trial is uh, studying, um, and it's called SGN35, that's the um, original name, studying this drug in uh, um, CD30 expressing non-Hodgkin lymphomas such as aggressive T-cell lymphomas and a diffuse large B-cell lymphoma as well as uh, the future plans is to uh, th that's still in planning uh, to study this in cutaneous T-cell lymphomas which uh, is um, which are quite rare diseases where some of them express CD30 um, antigen on the surface and uh, also the trial, which is ongoing right now at uh, JTCC, I uh, neglected to mention, is a maintenance, um, uh, maintenance of with SGN35 post autologous stem cell transplant in high-risk Hodgkin lymphoma patients. Because this is also a very important uh, trial, I think, because the uh, high-risk Hodgkin lymphoma patient, high-risk meaning they relapsed within 12 months of uh, receiving autologous stem cell transplantation salvage or relapsed with a high-stage disease, 
the response, uh, the progression-free survival and cure rate after auto transfer is literally less than 20%. So the study is uh, researching whether doing maintenance with SGN35 for one year will improve the progression-free survival and overall survival. So it's a randomized placebo control phase three open label trial also, which is ongoing currently in a multi-institutional setting. Dr. Feldman, thanks for stopping by, sharing your, uh, your news and your passion for lymphoma research, and best of luck to you. Thank you so much for inviting. You're quite welcome.